Welcome to our class on small letters, part of our series on quick steps to embroidery success. This class is designed to be both informative and easy to understand. We hope you will find that your time is well spent and that you will return for more of the videos in this series. In creating small letters, there are some basics to keep in mind. The smaller the needle, the smaller the letter can be. The thinner the thread, the smaller the letter can be. Your normal thread, your number 40, is 25% thicker than your number 60. So, with the number 60 thread, you can create lettering that is 25% smaller than with the number 40 thread. You can create a smaller letter with a simple running stitch than you can with your column stitch. If you're creating letters with a running stitch, you do not want to go over any part of the letter more than two times. If you're creating letters with your column stitch or satin stitch, you're bound by the properties of that stitch. The wider the column, the more it will pull in. The more that it pulls in, the more it will fill in. So, the wider the column, the less the density. You will need to extend the corners of the letters for clarity. You will need to open up your letters and you will have to drop the crossbars. Your O's will drop below the line and they will be pulled up. You do not want to walk through the letters with your running stitch as you would with your conventional letters. The fact that the thread is pulling is your ally. And last, you will need to proof the letters and adjust. So, let's see what is effective. With experience, small letters can become routine. As with all embroidery, an understanding of what the machine will do, whether you like it or not, is important. Working within the constraints of the machine will give you consistency, and consistency will give you the confidence to execute your jobs with small letters successfully.